You start by crafting the mind of the avatar. Where you give them a backstory, you write a narrative, you connect with your data sources, your knowledge, uh, you give them a voice. They have the ability to speak of different languages, different voices, connect with your favorite large language model, and then effectively you craft the mind of the avatar, the mind of the character. And once the mind is crafted, Today, how people use it is you take it to your game engine projects in your Unity Unreal projects, where you integrate it with your existing assets, your existing digital twin environments. Uh, you can use it today. It's one of the highest rated Gen AI tool across Unreal Unity and 3GS platforms for bringing your virtual environments with conversational AI abilities. And we are also solving rendering problem today by doing the cloud rendering uh, instead of you having to run these high fidelity simulations on your computer. So the first thing that we're going to talk about on that front is Avatar Studio. You run everything on the browser where you can choose from hundreds of available avatars or craft your own avatar, upload your own avatar, design the interface, give your characters the proactive ability, the agentic ability, and then once you're ready, you can publish it with a unique URL and then embed it on your own devices, on your own applications and websites and such. So, this effectively solves the problem of you having to know about game engines and integrations and being technical. It makes it a no-code tool, very easy to craft. Effectively, in five minutes, you can have your very high-fidelity embodied virtual human with your company intelligence and knowledge. And then you can also integrate it with your own applications and uh, uh, websites. Hi there. Welcome to our restaurant. I'm Rachel, and I'll be taking care of you today. Is there anything I can get you started with? I'm in mood for something sweet. Is that a recommendation of drinks you have for me? Oh, I love sweet drinks. We have a delicious strawberry daiquiri, a creamy pina colada, or a refreshing mango margarita. Which sounds best to you? I think I'll go with the strawberry daiquiri. Great choice. I'll prepare that for you right away. That was the 2D video call-like conversation and ability. Now you're going to see a full simulation ability that we are launching. It's also a full no-code tool. So we had your avatar created. Now we are going to go to a simulation. Let's say we go to a restaurant environment. It loads on your browser. We drop that character that we created. And then we can go and then just simply interact with that character. We ask that character, hey, how are you doing? Can you please follow me? Um, and it says, sure, let me follow you. So it is not able to just have a full voice-based conversation, but it can also carry out actions, move around the 3D world, et cetera. So effectively, think of it a learning training scenario where I am the supervisor. I'm kind of teaching her how to do a certain thing or asking her uh, different questions about it. So then what we will do is pro ask her, hey, can you pour me a drink? So let's see if she's able to do that. She is not able to perform that. Why? Primarily because she doesn't have the animation needed to do that um, uh, drink pouring action, right? So, so actually, that is one of the biggest challenges of uh, 3D content creation is that you, know, you may get your 3D assets and avatars, but how do you get them to perform the very custom specific action that you need, the animation that you need? So we are solving that today by launching this tool called XR Animation Capture app. It is already live on the MetaQuest store. So one of the best things about XR headsets, uh, especially leveraging OpenXR, is that they have a great precision with hand tracking and body tracking, especially upper body tracking. What you can now do is effectively teach the AI character how to perform a specific action. So let's say it's, it's about the drink pouring action that the character was not able to do, right? So we, what we can do is go into this environment and pour that specific drink. And then what we can do is once that's done, we save that animation and then apply that animation to that avatar and then see if she's able to do it. Now she's able to perform the same animation that we just did ourselves. And then when we ask them, hey, can you pour me a drink? She's able to do it now, right? So, so that's the whole end-to-end -end flow, fixing all of those problems, right? The other use cases that we see of a fully browser-rendered digital twin scenario, so imagine you have a full 3D environment, right? Usually you require your GPU computer to run that. You have uploaded it here, you have dropped your avatar, and now you're making them a tour guide. You're giving them different points in the scene that you want them to take the end user, right? You're dropping these points in the environment, and uh, 
uh, when you run it, she's welcoming you to the experience, and then she's taking you step by step to the um, to those ex uh, the locations. And you're able to ask some different questions: that how do I use this certain device, or what is this used for, and various other things. She's able to pull those knowledge from their knowledge bank and give you those answers, right? So, effectively having a full 3D environment tour guide character. Thank you for watching. Sign up at convey.com to try out these new features, and for technical queries, suggestions, and feedback check out our community forum at forum.convey.com.